Hey, uh, Jackie Platinum Joke Page Martin, congratulations. Well, oh, go ahead. Congratulations to you on your wild comedy CD. <laughs> Is that hey, written there, congratulations? No, I, I threw that in. It makes him feel good. $10 <laughs> plus $3 shipping and handling. Price includes full color joke land catalog. Call 1 800 323 5464. You got to see Jackie. He runs out of here now every day. So if you get home to. He gets home, he has a beach near him. He's daddy. And he has. It's like Gilligan's Island. A piece of wood floated up on the beach about a year ago. Please. Now, let me just tell, tell this. This is the greatest. I'm in the middle of your plug. It'll help you. A real piece of dock. Certified dock. So, a year ago, a piece of dock floated up on Jackie's beach. And like Gilligan's Island, you know, in Gilligan's, in Gilligan's Island. In, in, oh, during the big flood, yes. In Gilligan's Island, whatever would float up on Gilligan's Island, like a radioactive tomato, yeah. seeds, anything that would float up, they would make something out of. And like the professor, he was always taking coconuts and making generators and stuff right, like right. that. Right, right. Jackie oh. gets a piece of wood, <laughs> and you know what he generated? A piece of wood. <laughs> and so he took the piece of wood, and now he has all the, the, I guess, the bums who hang out in the middle of the afternoon on the beach with him. They're not bums. Well, why they have free time in the afternoon? It's a Sunday afternoon. Oh, on Sunday, he gets the whole town together to scrape uh, the barnacles. Friend. Ken has a Kawasaki jet ski, and he helped me tow in the thing, and then his eight friends from Brooklyn helped me flip the thing up onto the beach so I could scrape it down and paint it. All right. So put it God back in the water. What happens out there, though, if, uh, when you come out there sometimes, are people using your piece of wood, or do they leave it? Everybody loves the float. So if you come out there, does everyone get off because it's Jackie's time to no, use the float? No. No, it's Are you sort of like the, the guy in charge of the float? Anybody can use at any point. <laughs> so what happens if you get out there, let's say, this afternoon, and there's like two guys laying on it? There won't because off. it's on the beach. No, there's plenty of room get for off. anybody that wants to use it. My daddy, get off! Shut up, I am the general get of the float. Did you stop so in other words, if people don't go, hey, there's Jackie, he's really, this is pretty much like his thing, and he's going to be on the jetty for the rest of the afternoon. And how much time do you spend on the jetty? Seriously, like, do you, will you spend like the whole day on it? Am I really entertaining? <laughs> you swim out to it and you hang out on it. How long would you say? People come up with their jet skis and water skis and go off it and on it and jump off it and then swim back into the shorts. It's a something to do. Thing. It's something to do. Something to do. <laughs> you climb onto the Did you ever have a float in your pool? Yes. What do you do on it? What do I do on it? Not much, because usually they're deflated because my kids punch holes in them. <laughs> well, you can't punch holes in my dock. I see. So, in other words, you'll jump off the dock and Dive then... Off it, or, or someone stand pulls up. up on the ladder. And so, what I'm saying is, so how long will you spend t time a day with the jetty? Like a half hour? Yeah, not so much time. Do you feel Are you like sun yourself on it? There? You know, if I'm a little hungover from the night before, maybe I'll right. come out in the morning and... Lay on the dock. So and, uh, uh, there are days that you, there are days you get out there, and there might be two or three people on it. Can Sometimes they, can, you take a little cooler out there with some sodas and beers. So you swim out, out with the cooler. Out. Sure. Right. Yeah, I put the rope in my teeth and I drank the cooler out. That's exactly <laughs> what I did. Now I got a couple of big inner tubes. This is unbelievable. My friend Barry brought a couple of big inner tubes and we swim out. You know, you know, you know the big inner tubes that inflate. And hey, just mention Barry. That'll be good. He'll be happy. Keep my pal. Put... You know why I'm doing this. Gary came in during the commercial. He says, "How long will it take uh, Jackie to mention two or three of the buddies who help yeah. him yeah. Well, with the jetty?" Well, you started it. If and it's going to make you stop, fine. How long will it take to mention two or three of the buddies? I said, oh, I, I can make that happen. Ken and Barry. I said, Gary, I can make that happen inside of 30 seconds. My gardener, He goes, let me see you do it. I said, okay, I'll just get him talking about the jetty. You'll hear his buddy Billy. And Jerry. Jerry. Billy the gardener. All right. Gary, the uh, computer wizard. Friday night, June 17th, Jackie will have pictures of the jetty at the Comedy Cabaret oh, with good. him. He'll be selling pictures, actual pictures of the jetty. My piece of It's a dock. It's a float. And the jetty Dover... is a group of rocks. You're the one who calls it the jetty. Robin started that the crap. Dover, I, Delaware. I don't even know the word Get a jetty. dictionary. Jackie will be in the Dover, Delaware, Sheridan Inn. For information and CD samples, call 516-9321. Jetty is rock. Are you going to bring pictures of it? Jetty. Yes, I, I have taken pictures of it, and I'll bring them in a couple days. It's probably medical waste. Mm. Yes, yeah, washed up. Whoa. Jackie, like Gilligan's, I like the professor. I'll make this into a piece of wood. It's the syringes. If I find together. the needle, it's going in your heart. <laughs> we could, we could lay on it. That's right, <laughs> Ginger. Hey. I'll invent recreation. I spent a hundred bucks on paint yesterday, Alfred. <laughs> Professor Feces. Ah. Copper paint oh, to keep the barnacles away. Maybe you could blow down it. What were you doing? What were you doing? Like scraping barnacles off it? Yeah, I flipped it over and I scraped all the barnacles off. And today I'm going to paint it with. What will happen he if this the barnacle? The boys at West Harbor Marine sold me. He ate the barnacles. Ah. What happens if you the barnacles accumulate on the piece of wood? Well, if there's too many barnacles, then when you 
fool around in the float. If you bang into them, you cut yourself up. I see. So this is uh, barnacle resistant paint. Mm -hmm. And then you flip it over and prime it and. Good for you. Dark gray. Glad to see you so busy. I'm priming the jetty. Yeah. <laughs> Relaxing. It's good exercise. It's almost ready to launch for this season. <laughs> oh, it's just skin cancer. Don't worry about it. What is it, Gorilla? <laughs> Jackie invited. Go ahead. Every day, can I come home? Oh, no, 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 no. What was that? What? I, I, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. Before, you, before you even start. Jackie, Jackie, like invited everybody out to his house on su for Sunday. Yeah. To um. Structure extended. Go ahead, Gorillo. Yeah. But, uh, he invited everybody out. He goes, look, if you come on out, you can help me uh, clean out the jetty, and we'll have a party. So it's like you come out and work for him, and he throws you a party. Right. That sucks, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. There's no problem. <laughs> I, I, I won't have blisters on my hands. Believe me. Stay in Brooklyn. Believe me. Stay in Brooklyn for the weekend. Drown yourself in the sink. Believe me. He's another one. He's got a trailer upstate somewhere. Yeah, Carrillo has weird recreational Ooh. habits, too. There's a trailer <laughs> that he you goes walk to. to where I go. Yeah, he, there's a trailer, and him and his buddies go up there. Guys, all guys, yeah. no girls. Yeah. Let's drive 10 hours so we uh, can hang out in the trailer like homos. Yeah, and they sit there in the trailer. And what do you guys do in the trailer? Just get loaded. And you drink in the trailer? Well, no, we just have, like, a little campfire. Yeah. And you drink. And we do. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just not... It's like a campground. It's yeah. like an upstate New York. Yeah, you, you, you sit on a piece of wood. You bull. <laughs> <laughs> you sit on a piece of wood. It's no bigger than the desk in the office, man. <laughs> Is it really small? Is that right? I, I, I you don't need a big one. <laughs> Get out of here. You had AstroTurf on it, too. <laughs> AstroTurf! <laughs> Bob Fulton put the extra turbo. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Gorilla, get out of here. All right. It's like a UN Jaggy. <laughs> trailer. I'm going up to my trailer. You got the voices mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I do everything in Jackie's voice. For MP3 audio and 3D uh, joke land, visit jokeland.com. Get, get it now, John Bonet Ramsey's father is under suspicion again? Yeah, they think he might have disturbed the crime scene when he <laughs> up on her body. Yeah. That's a joke? That's not a joke. I think that's for real. Oh, my goodness. It's my observational humor. I wrote that on the toilet. <laughs> hey, maybe you're the terrible one. What? I just came up with one man thing. Mm. Oh, what do you think about mm. Tom Renee? Oh. All right. You woke up, Fred. <laughs> Great for Christmas. Stocking stuffer. <laughs> the John Benet Wrong joke. <laughs> it's going to be big. All right. Play your own charity golf game, right? Hey, 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 that was very sweet of you. <laughs> hey, yes, this is funny, and I'll tell you why. I'm hearing all about this from Gary, who's the only one who can remember stuff. <laughs> so Robin has a charity. And she does nothing. <laughs> I donate everybody else. Yeah. I know. That's good. What a gal. <laughs> so one of the things that they... It's one of these charity auction things people donate money for. How much so How much money Seven to... Grand, uh, all right. Yeah. So a bunch of Wall Street dudes won the right to go golfing with Stuttering John, Jackie, and Gary. Yes. Yeah. And uh, the Wall Street guys, you said nice guys? Yeah, nice. And, not only did it cost them seven grand just to get us there, hmm. we went to their club, which they paid for, rented clubs for us. The guy brought us to the pro shop and outfitted us. Wow. wow. These guys yeah. didn't have the proper clothes to go on the course. Yeah, these guys. They were, they were proper clothes. I mean, nobody told us what did to Did Jackie wear. have the right clothes? Oh, yes. Jackie. Well, I can't hear you. What? Jackie did have uh, the right clothes, but still took the, the uh, free clothes. Right. <laughs> right. What is, when the guy outfits you, what does he yeah. buy you? We bought uh, <laughs> uh, shorts and a shirt, but I, I looked at the price tag. The shorts were like 60 bucks, and the shirt was like 90. Wow. <laughs> the guy was goofing on Gary because, you know, you know, but if you're buying the golf shop, it's always a lot of money. Right. $90, you know, for the shirt. Right. Nice. That's then, crazy. Then, of course, they took us out to dinner. They bought us beer all day. And, you know, everything. Yeah, Gary said these guys were loaded. Yeah. yeah. Wall Street wow. guys. Yeah. No, 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 no. I mean, Jackie and John were loaded. <laughs> yeah. You Plus, he, loaded on honey. You know, John always says, like, he doesn't drink during the week and he's having all these hemorrhoid problems and I say related to drinking. Gary said these two guys, especially John, was so loaded. <laughs> <laughs> he was slurring, slurring. At dinner. And Jackie was slurring. Too. You were too. What's going on? I thought you don't drink during the week. Uh, how many, how many, I know, but, but it, was, it was a, it was a, you know, a circumstance. We were playing golf. <laughs> a special occasion. <laughs> yeah. It was. I was celebrating my birthday, and, uh, you know, it was a special day. Today was your birthday. 
I know, but you know, I was hoping, I was waiting until your today. <laughs> what? I was hoping that you know the day would go until today. Yeah. And the wackiest thing of the day, Howard, I got to tell you, <laughs> how many beers did he have? Oh, oh, <laughs> it had to be between. 10 and 15. Oh, Gary. Come in. And then you smoked Sorry. weed, right? You and Jackie. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, that was, well, you know, that's what put me over because, you know. Oh, no, I'll tell you where his Jackie problem good starts. Problem. Where does his problem start? He's, I, I think he's normal because I'm whacked. <laughs> right. But we get to dinner and the guy can hardly keep his chin off the table and he orders martinis. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's you don't think you have a drinking problem? Oh, I, was, I was having a good time. And Jackie was drinking just. Jack, and Gary, you were drinking. I had one beer the whole day. I was drinking club soda. Because what? you know what? Gary said. I gotta go to work the next day. Yeah, no, I got home at nine o'clock. And I even said, I, I said, didn't, I didn't stay out late or anything. I had one beer. I'll go home. I'll walk into work exhausted the next day. And John will walk in happy. John walks in. He's like, Hey, how you doing? Yeah, I'm he's not exhausted at all. Yeah, he's not exhausted at all. He's not exhausted from drinking. No. But, you know, it's really weird that if you do anything that John does, it doesn't mean you're doing it to excess, but if you do it, it means he's all right. No, but John loves to drink, and John becomes... But that's cons I've seen John in action, and he becomes consumed with getting that drink. Like, as soon as you get there, he's always like, hey, where's the beers? How are we going to get beers? He's like we went to the, the drinks right the away. We went to the dysfunctional family picnic, and right away it was John saying to me, y you want beers, right? No, I, uh, thought, I thought you uh, wanted uh, it. Did you, yeah. yeah, and you were really worried about me. You, you want beers, right? Let him get his own beer. Yeah, I'll get beer. And the other funny thing... He's just one of those guys that says beers. Right. But the other funny thing about... Your beers. It's, it, is, it is pluralized. I, don't, I, I mean, I don't know why. No, no, you, I'm going to get some beer. Pluralized. No. It's plural, not pluralized. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, the, yeah. But it's funny because John's... Uh, the other thing that's funny about John, I noticed, is that his taste in alcohol is a lot bigger when somebody else is paying. Right. So also it's like, I'll have uh, Kettle One Martini. Great you know? Goose. Yeah. Yeah. Great Goose. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. And, 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 and that's ridiculous. It wasn't because of, wait, wait, I drink any less if, if I'm So what happened? You guys went out at 1 o'clock in the afternoon with these guys. Right. Yeah. Uh, John starts drinking beer. Right away, was he like, where's the beer? Well, pretty much as soon as we got outfitted and we went right over to the clubhouse, oh, right away the guy said, "Gary shops like a woman." Yeah, no, I'm a chick when it comes. I can't they decide. They on him because he's like, I could it's it's a half hour. Yeah. I can't what, what, what? He's like taking a year. He's picking shirts. He's trying them on. He sees if he likes it. It's like you know, <laughs> just take something and go. Dude, look at yourself. What are you worried about? That's well, funny. Yeah, were you gorgeous? No, no, I put on anything. I couldn't decide what color. And, you know, Hold on. Why, you, do you think you look better in other colors? I don't know. That's what the no. guy said. Man, Gary just put my clothes, and the guy goes, Gary, do you see what you're wearing? In the <laughs> meantime, John, John, <laughs> let me tell you something. John gets the shorts and the shirt, and he tucks the shirt in the front, and his belly is so protruding. <laughs> right. I mean, when he, he walked out, everyone goes, Not hey, nearly as big as your lips. Uh, yeah. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, the yeah. funniest thing is Gary shot for half an hour, and then we got back to the locker room, and he goes, Oh, I thought I bought shorts. I bought long pants. I bought long pants. Gotta go back. Oh I have to take them back. Every so how long does it take you to get dressed? Yeah, we were done in 20 minutes. Oh. Then, Howard, then the shirt he picks is bright yellow. Right. All the guys in the course of goofing him call him... Flashlight. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, was, You're unbelievable. Why bright yellow? I don't know. You, you think you look tan in it? I just like the shirt. He looked like the sun. <laughs> All right, so anyway. It didn't look like it took him half an hour to pick it. Did you guys goof on him the whole time? Oh, yeah. We, we never saw each other. Yeah. We oh. immediately split into three different groups. Oh. Like, each one of us got assigned to a group, so I hardly saw these guys while we were gone. But John was behind me. Yeah, so we were goofing on him. Well, he didn't hear us, but, you know. You know. Oh, I see. Because Gary was saying, and, and rightly so, man, you've got a drinking problem. Oh, we know Jackie does. I don't but... know that you have a drinking problem, but I do know that you can't enjoy yourself unless you drink. That's not it's true. A, I mean, to me, I'm not, I don't love golf. So the only reason you can go golfing is... Gary hits it right on the head. You cannot enjoy yourself unless you're drinking. You become consumed with getting a beer. You do. You do. Admit it. You, you're, right away, you're like, where, where are we going to get beers? we got to get beers. If, you're, be if, beers. if yesterday was alcohol-free, it's just not the same day for you. I, I would hate golf if I if I had to, you know... Hey, you would straight. hate everything if you couldn't drink. Right. I, I mean, how, I'm, not, I'm not that in love with golf. The only reason you get in your place is to hang out and have a few beers. He, he's not even here. Even Jackie says his head is almost hitting the yeah. table, and he orders a martini. Uh, it's was not like he one. needs another drink. Right. He's really, really drunk and slurring like I crazy. I wasn't driving. I, you know, what do I care? <laughs> He wasn't driving. Jackie was no, driving. There's no reason to drink on the golf course. It's so beautiful out there. You don't have to slow oh, yeah. it down. There was, there was airplanes flying over every 10 seconds. It was like getting beautiful. And Jackie and John are, they're, they're oh. crammed in a Norton. They just bicker and bicker about everything. I know. I didn't start. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so, you know, I got to tell you, it's almost like it's not Jackie. What were they bickering about? Just everything. stupid. Just, you know, no, Jackie goofs on me constantly. Yeah, Jackie goofs on so John constantly. Just, you know, and John fires back, and then it's and then it's, sometimes it, it goes to jokes, you know, one up, one up, and then sometimes it's not so funny. Right, right. Well, we could be with a gang of people, and all I have to do is go. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that makes him crazy. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, but, but nobody else even hears. <laughs> <laughs> like Niagara Falls. You can sit quietly in the car. There's a plane going. You don't even. You don't even have to work hard <laughs> to piss him off. <laughs> so we're out having dinner, and there's this. So like Jackie thinks. The house is that this guy tells you know good stories, right? right. This guy's gonna come in, but Jackie thinks it's. Jackie gets the wrong guy, so this old guy comes over to the table. Jackie's like, "Come on, tell us a joke." The guy's like, "Oh, I just had a kidney, you know, you know, removed. Like, you know, I, I don't tell jokes." Jackie's like, "Come on, tell us a joke." The poor guy's like, "I just had a kidney removed. I don't tell jokes." They got the wrong guy. Jackie gets the wrong story. What so happened? You got loaded on the golf course, and then what? You smoked weed before dinner. Yeah, you know, Jackie. Yeah, when did the weed come? Oh, Jackie, what? That's in the car on the way to dinner. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Jackie, what? No, it was funny because yeah, we were. Pa- I, I guess I can say this. You know, we, we were passing the weed from car to car. <laughs> I'm sure the guys the really car. appreciate that, John. <laughs> well, they didn't smoke. You guys did. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, you know, and, by and then you, and then you, and then you go to dinner and you order a martini. Well, first, there's a couple of beers, and it was like you had three martinis at dinner. No, I didn't. Ooh. No, you had more had than one. one. I didn't drink the other one. Oh, he ordered uh, two, but I, I was so drank much. One. No, I didn't order. He just brought it over. I guess he thought that's what I wanted. But after the first martini, I went back to beer. Right. So he didn't stop drinking. Oh, of course. Really, John, jokes aside, how many beers did you have yesterday? I told you. I would guess um, I probably had about six to, to ten while playing. Right. But then a martini, maybe maybe another maybe another five. At dinner. And some weed. <gasps> and weed. And, and, and I would, uh, you don't think you have a problem? I would say, I would say two joints. <laughs> Gee. Two joints? How do you... And you know what's funny? Oh, wow. I can't take a, a hit. He doesn't even see himself because what happens? He has a hat on, and the hat comes off, and his hair—he puts it back on, like the hair's all disheveled. He looks like a like a wacky scientist, and he's drinking. And his hair's all over the place. <laughs> no, I was sitting next to the guy who paid. I was sitting next to the guy. Who I like paid. this is for charity. Yeah, how I'm sitting next to the guy who paid, and I, at one point I looked over, and John was like cross-eyed, and his nose was like in his like, food, and I hit the guy and said. Seven grand, right there. <laughs> what an entertaining <laughs> evening. <laughs> they got their money. <laughs> it was a good time, and there were a good bunch of guys, you know. Right. One, I had one beer the whole day, probably like on the third hole. Right. Well, that's you know, the that's John. A you thing. know, it's it's a whole different thing though. You John, know, to celebrate. Well, you know what? The guys, the guys heard me bitching because they were asking me about you know what goes on here and everything, and I was definitely bitching. I mean, you know how you always talk about the lead singer in the band? Yeah. That's how I feel among my group right. because. You know, if John's late, or even if Jackie's late, it's no big deal. But if I'm late, it's, it's a bigger difference. I right. get, you know, it's more crap, and I help get the show prepared. So I always feel like I have to restrain myself to make sure that I'm in on time. And these guys don't seem to care about it as much. Yeah, no. I was on time. I mean, I, I didn't, didn't affect my job. <laughs> no, but who knows how it affects your well, job? You see how he's locking up today. He yeah. always stutters worse on a night after So we like that. <laughs> big night. Yeah. He's functioning better. <laughs> Do it for the show. <laughs> Take it bullet. No, what, and then what did you do when you got home? Did you go back to Long Island or you stayed in the city? I had some more no, I stayed in the city. He you doesn't did. have a Long Island oh. home anymore. Oh. No, I do. You I went into the city? Yeah. He's got two homes. But he's getting home. rid of the Long Island one. He's moved into the city. Well, yeah, I'm thinking of... of uh, no kidding. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to give up your Long Island home? Well, well it, it's, just, it's, just, it's just a business move. You know. Oh, you go tight on funds? Lack of business move. Oh, no, I just... Lack of business. No, here's what... Tell me what's going on. What I think is going on is that John's wife, as an actress, <laughs> is trying to get work. No, she's worked. Sorry. As an actress <laughs> trying to get work, I, yeah. think, I think she would feel better in the city. I think the suburbs probably isn't her bag. They got the house. They gave it a try. They moved into the city to have an apartment. You're going to raise two kids in that one-bedroom apartment? Yeah. Oh, no, I got a big apartment now. Where did you get a big apartment? In the same building that I've been in, but now... How I, many I, I, bedrooms? Uh. It's one bedroom, but it's big. <laughs> <laughs> it's big. It's not a small one bedroom. It's, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's a big one bedroom. So the kids are going to have their own room. But how, what, what is it? The kids are going to have their own room. Yeah. Which, so you'll have the bedroom. Each kid gets no, their own corner. No, they have the bedroom. And where will you guys sleep? <laughs> I, I turned the living room, which is really big, into a bedroom. And the, Wait, let me understand. It. Start again, Gary. Ask him those questions. Okay, how, do, how do you turn... Okay, the kids sleep in the bedroom. So now you have one big living room. But how do you turn that into another room? I, you put up a, a curtain, and right. then you have a and then you have a, a bed in the back, and then you have a curtain, and then you have a, a, a living room. He's going to turn that apartment into a tenement. <laughs> it's like back, it's like backstage at the theater. With wow. Curtains and so each kid, as Jackie said, each kid gets his own corner. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And, and I have a house, and I'm not I'm not not going to have a a place in 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 a. In a, in a, in a, in a. <laughs> well, I'm just going to downsize it. You're going to downsize a little. He's mm-hmm. hoping Jackie will give him a house. I have a huge house. I don't use half the room. You see, so there's just rooms that I don't use. 
Really? I didn't know that. Did you know it was a big house with no... no it didn't look that big to me, and it looked like each room was filled with tons of junk. Did you ever go, did you ever go upstairs? Yeah. We have it unpacked. Yeah. yeah. Upstairs is a little bit bigger, but downstairs, you're right, there's a room that I think is supposed to be the game room that just has posters in it and a lot of stuff that's unpacked. Yeah, I, yeah, right. I, I was supposed to put a pool table in there, but I just, you know, yeah, it's I, just, I just didn't ever get around to it. Right. So now he's going to put up curtains in the living room. i got to see what to do, and I'm going to go over there. <laughs> oh, I'm, I, I'm definitely going to have a party now. Good. Yeah. I don't want to see that. But the kids won't be home that night, right? Of course not. They're going to be home when I'm having a party. We need that. Where are you going to put them? In the closet. <laughs> <laughs> In a drawer. <laughs> don't suck on the moth. Still okay? <laughs> <laughs> Sarai, Yeah, I remember when he was going to get the pool table. It was either the pool table or pay taxes. <laughs> so he went with the taxes. Or beer. Flip the coin. Or beers. <laughs> I'm, I'm oh. the Daddy's an alcoholic. No, I'm really not. Really? I, I mean, I don't drink all the time. You could quit anytime. No, yeah. he couldn't quit. We determined that. We asked you if you would just stop for a month to see if it would help your hemorrhoid, and you said you couldn't really do that. <laughs> your hemorrhoid. My hemorrhoid's fine right now. He, he couldn't quit between <laughs> Utopia Parkway and the Midtown Park. <laughs> 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 I mean, look at he's talking, you know. Well, he's an admitted drunk. Yeah. It, yeah. And you drink more than him, <laughs> so what do you think? Me. He knows he can't stop. Yeah, he got my truck. <laughs> 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 the deli has people going home and bought an extra six-pack for the ride. Oh. <laughs> we were at a gas. <laughs> is that true? How does that help the car? <laughs> they put it in the tank. <laughs> if you would have seen the two of them, you, you wouldn't have let either of them ride in the back seat. <laughs> 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 hey, oh, you you were, that three signs You were slurring, too. Just not as bad as John. That's funny, because John has Jackie as his that. designated driver. I think right. Yeah, John throws it on Jackie. He's like, you're driving now. I'm just going to take funnels of alcohol. Right. <laughs> that was his last word because his nose went into the martini. Yeah. I'm not driving. Uh, and then he had five more beers. And you know, Howard, I have to tell you, you know how you hate taking pictures? Uh, the restaurant that we were at, they had, mm. like, the Wall of Fame. Right. And it was really, you know, they had everybody from, like, Penthouse Pet, <laughs> Leslie Glass, to, like, you know, guys who were in The Godfather, all these different guys. <laughs> and we look up there, Jack actually pointed out, there's a picture of you from around, you know, 1987. Your hair is huge. Right. And you're wearing the black leather jacket. Right. Then, then they Then they took a picture of Fart Man that they cut out of a magazine. Oh, dear. Mm. And then it says, uh, Howard Stearns and Tony. And Stearns was spelled S-T-E-A-R-N-S. <laughs> yeah. It's a beauty. Hey, Jackie, Joke Man Martin, linked order Jackie's 78-minute CD or cassette, only 10 bucks plus free shipping and handling. Price includes 20-page Joke Land catalog in color. Call 1-800-323-5464. minutes rather than 80. I don't know. I thought, I thought a CD only held 70 minutes. That's the most the CD can hold. 78 minutes? Spoken word. So every, you sure it's 78 minutes? Absolutely chill. Good for you. Was it Middle-aged hard? divorcee wants to sleep with a black guy. She's dying to sleep with a black guy. She goes to a bar, has a few drinks, meets the black guy, brings him home, brings him to the bedroom, takes off all her clothes, lies in bed, spreads her legs. She says, I, pal, do what you do best. So he grabs the TV and runs out the door. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Too bad no uh, black impression. The music is the best. Yeah, he was doing the woman. <laughs> yeah. This Thursday, one big show at Rascals in West Orange, New Jersey. With Jake Thomas on keyboard. It's always funny to hear Jackie with music behind him. Jackie and Jakey. And for information and raunchy jokes, call 516-922-WINE. I love that music. Almost, oh, almost all sold out. So please hurry. Hey, hurry, Louis. Hurry. He might be doing that joke live, the one you just heard. Yeah, he does such a great impression of a woman. Do it, 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 do it,
Let me hear another joke from Jackie. Well, when when you stand, the judge says, what happened? She's I walking on the sidewalk and he grabbed me and dragged me to Alley. And he ripped off my dress and pulled out my pants and threw me over a garbage can. I don't even remember what happened next. The judge says, make some up. Make some up. <laughs> Impression of Jackie's laugh. Let it play out all the way. Oh, okay. I like when you do that. Well, I like to overlap. Them. Never right. know when they're coming.